So now that we have walked you through why we're doing this, what the actual member registration workflow looks like, and the three different use cases that we anticipate these APIs being used for, uh, we do want to walk through the API documentation for the team management softwares. We have sent this out to all of you, and we do anticipate some questions, but we've tried to anticipate as many questions as possible and as many types of use cases as possible. And just as a world rule of thumb, uh, one of the main, main reasons for why we did this whole member registration Sims 3.0 project is to improve our data quality. With that data quality is improving that connection between USA Swimming, the source of truth of the data, and the team management softwares. And that's a huge goal of this, and we're really hopeful that, the, that these API endpoints prov provide that type of connection to improve that data quality on both sides. All right, the first part of the documentation really covers the process to get started with USA Swimming. So we've tried to document the types of information we're looking for and how we're going to authenticate with you. Um, the first three steps really cover what's necessary for us to talk. The last step, number four, really, is you identifying a club that you would like to test with. We have converted um, all the data into our test environment, so you should be able to see the members that um, you would expect to see from the live application. So just give us the club ID and we'll set you up for that to test with. Next step is authentication. I'm not gonna go through this in detail. You can go through it, but basically we have a process to authenticate with us so we can know um, who you are and you can know who we are. The big thing really comes down to events. And this is kind of a new feature that we've put in place and really, what this is, is you can subscribe to events with us and we will tell you when something happens. So when a member registers, we'll send you an event and highlighted what the event looks like. We're not really trying to put in a lot of data here. In the event itself, there's the sequence number and for each vendor, we'll keep a unique sequence ID set going. So you can tell if something got missed. The event type, obviously pretty clear there, club ID, um, and then the data. And really all we're doing there is we're going to send you something that allows you to know what happened. And in this case, basically, you'll be getting the member ID. Um, and then we expect after you get the member ID, you will call our API, get member details, right, to get the full set of membership information. So again, in the event, it's only just that something happened and something happened to this person. And then you can call us to get the details. And we'll go through the APIs a little bit more, but that's basically the idea. And step two and three there, this is our kind of speculation, if you will, for what you would be doing with this information. So each one of the events, we've tried to think through the process and what you would do with that data. Um, let's see, we can kind of go through updated, upgraded, makes sense. Transfers, a special case. Um, we could have a member transferring from club A to club B. You might be the vendor for club A and you might not be the member, vendor for club B or vice versa, or you may be the vendor for both clubs. At any rate, we're going to have a member transfer from and a member transfer to event and we'll send those events to the vendor that's been registered for that club. And that way, you know, somebody's either coming or going um, from a transfer event. Um, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. All right, there's two club events, pretty straightforward. Um, we know that clubs are going to um, sometimes be a, a new customer for a particular vendor. And sometimes a club may want to leave vendor A and go to vendor B. So we have two events here that basically is letting you know, hey, Club 123 has just activated you as a vendor for them. And then the deactivation, same thing. Club 123 deactivated, you will no longer be managing them in our system. So that should be fairly straightforward. Um, one of the things that we're looking at now is um, we have a couple of options for um, getting member details. We can get member details for the member. We can also get member details for the club. So let's say this is a brand new club for you. Um, you can put in the optional identifier club ID and we will send you every member that's registered with that club. 
versus just a particular member ID. This is a great way to refresh your system. And um, upon conversion, when we're ready to go live, a great way to get all the data that we currently have about them and load up your application. So those are the events that really just notifiers to you that something happened. Um, in the data itself, we've also tried to identify um, all the terminology. Some of the terminology is new. So member ID is our new member ID that we talked about earlier. Old ID is the old member ID. We felt like this was important. This way you can match up. If someone's an existing member and we send over data in the API, we will send the old ID and the new ID. That way you can sync those items up. And especially like I mentioned um, at the beginning to get the full member details, that way you've got the list of all the member IDs with you. The rest of the stuff, fairly straightforward. Um, one thing about the fees that we're showing here, um, as mentioned, USA Swimming is going to be collecting the fee. So generally that number is going to be zero, but we've decided to leave that in the API and to account for perhaps future edge cases. So generally that USA fee is gonna be zero and the LSC fee will be zero or some amount depending upon if the LSC opts into our service to collect the fee for them. And then going down into the APIs, these are the four APIs. These are the gets that you will hit against us. Um, and they're fairly explanatory. I won't go to them in all detail. But please note, most of these do have optional parameters that you can choose to send, and that gets you more or less information. Um, that would be about it.